everybody, John here, and today on To The Garage, I'm giving you my review on the good and the bad points about the uh, undercover swing box for the Navara NP300 with a canopy. So subscribers will already know that I love my NP300, and uh, obviously if you love something, you start to accessorize and for quite some time now since the beginning of the year i've had uh, one of these things it's a undercover swing box swing case and what it is is a storage device for it fits really neatly inside the bed of your truck and goes over the wheel arch so it makes the best use of what might be the deadest bit of space in your vehicle. It means you can store all bits and pieces that are gonna rattle around and move around inside your vehicle, always hauling all sorts of uh, rubbish. But obviously one of the disadvantages of pickup trucks in terms of practicality is you got this big lip to reach over, so it's not the easiest thing to reach into. Indeed, that's why I've got another top tip, <laughs> a little bit of spare mat to pull out onto my tailgate that means I point myself up there I don't hurt my knees too much really good idea and once I'm uh, up here I can show you the swing box a little better so uh, what is it how does it work why would anybody want one it is a essentially a toolbox um it's made of an abs type plastic it has a lockable top there's a keyhole but you can just latch it and inside there you can store all of your loose bits and pieces that might otherwise roll around inside the vehicle it's party trick and hence the name swing case or swing box depends on which um, territory you're in when you order the things is that there's a little yellow handle down here and when you pull on that handle the whole thing pivots round and essentially climbs back out of your pickup truck meaning it's much more easy much more convenient to get at everything that's in there so I've got a, a decent recess molded in there which I tend to have these in the back of the lorry just for ease of getting at and it's even practically a picnic table with your coffee cup holders so all round really quite a useful bit of kit um, it's got hinges that lift off so I can literally just pick the whole thing up take him off and I've got the full load bed, or I can take that this somewhere else with my tools inside. And that's just down to this big bracket with one half of the lift off hinges on. In terms of uh, interior space, lock on there pretty deep you can get all sorts of uh, rubbish in but otherwise you're rolling around inside your vehicle along with everybody's favorite a uh, emergency breakfast supply of porridge um for a little tray tool tray that you can lift off and you can reverse it stick it on the other end um and a little compartment so a gopro in there all sorts so yeah quite a versatile bit of kit and according to the manufacturers you could even fill up the bottom with ice and turn it into a cool box i've not tried that it's not what i intend doing but yeah technically i suppose that's possible it's got some unusual shapes on the outside which they don't supply any fittings for these but it's quite evidently a lashing system it's like a keyhole slot uh, wide at the bottom narrow at the top but it's actually recessed so if you had a, a large washer bolted to a strap, you could pull it up in there and there'd be a good lashing point. I'm guessing that might be for an extra you can get that I don't know about uh, or is yet to come. 
So all in all, I've found it a very useful, great bit of kit, and um, on first glance, nothing really to uh, pass against it. But there are a couple of little niggles. Um, first one is fitting isn't quite as straightforward as they would make out. <coughs> I should say, in fairness to the manufacturers, uh, they do say, but if you have a bed liner, you'll have to cut it. And that's straightforward enough. But maybe it's not the, quite the clipping um, that everybody imagines it might be. Just going to put the box out of the way for a second. So if you've got a Navara with a bed liner, this is what you have to do to it. It's not the prettiest. Um, functionally, it's not going to cause too, too much grief, although obviously you're not now completely sealed off the bed and you can get water and bits and pieces getting between the bed and the bracket. I tried to take the absolute minimum of material away um, because I'm quite anal in that regard and this is what I ended up with. So down here you've got a bracket that's got to go into the side wall of the bed and that uses self-tapping bolts self-drilling self-tapping bolts, very easy to install from that point of view. But you do have to mark the position where this is going to land and cut a hole in the uh, bed liner. Um, cutting the bed liner is not actually that bad. Uh, use a reasonably large drill, like I have here on the corners, and then join it up with a Stanley knife. Um, takes a little getting going, but once you've got the knack of it, it's actually quite easy to do. So you end up with a hole there. And up this end, you can see I've been reasonably neat this side because the bracket comes too close to the edge not to cut away this area here but I kept it quite close to the bracket this side because the liner turns a corner here and the bed turns a corner here you have to cut the bed away. We don't have the option of bolting it through because it's got a very big meaty return on it. So you've got to cut the liner for sure. When it came to this area, you think, oh, he's made a huge mistake up there. But because this lifts off, you've got to leave some space for the bracket to lift off else it's trapped in there forever, or as is more to the case, you can't get it on to these pins. So you are going to end up cutting away more material than you might actually like. But yeah, you can't see any of that when the box is in place. It's still a great tool, um, just something to bear in mind. With the box back on its hinges, you can now see this is the gap that you need in order to lift that hinge off. It's also got another nifty feature down here. As we swing this back and it auto latches, which is nice. So that isn't going to go anywhere now. You have got a um, hasp, which means effectively you can lock it, but only to your vehicle because you've covered up some of the bolts holding it in. So that ain't going anywhere, but also it can't be swung if you don't want it to be, put a padlock on there. So that's a pretty good feature. Now here's the niggle that is slightly worse. For me, I can live with all this. This is this is fine. The one that I'm going to have to do something about, and this isn't mentioned anywhere, is that swing this open, and I'd like to get in my box. So I'm going to do a little latch. I'll bring you around to a different angle so you can see better. Oops. There we go. Oh, what's that? So I'm hitting the lock mechanism on my hardtop, which is a Truckman uh, Grand, I think. So it's probably the most common top on Navara, certainly in the UK. Um, the actual Nissan top is not actually a common top because it's a very unusual look. If I push the box in to that angle, you can get behind the latch, but it still doesn't open all the way. It, it stays up, and that's how I actually use it. Um, so they don't say 
that these are intended for canopies. And to be fair, most people are gonna probably want that as a toolbox and they've probably got an open bed or they've got a tono of some variety, a flat deck, and that'll, that'll give them no problem in that regard. But opening the lid is actually an issue. That's jammed at that point with the canopy on. Um, it doesn't get any better when you close the box, put it into position. Now I'm going to climb in using my patented kneeling mat. There we go. Ow. <laughs> and holding the canopy on, you've got these big G clamps essentially, and they're very much the same on all top so you're gonna have something like that and they're on the truckman top they're a neat install um, but their location can be altered but it's not meant to be you see that this one's been moved by me to push it a little further away and it's therefore not got a rubber trim in there this one hasn't been moved is in a standard position. When you open the top, it's that G clamp. It doesn't hit this one, because I moved it. it. Does hit that one. Now, in order to get that one out of the way, I'd have to move it too far back. There isn't enough space because the rail starts to taper here. So you can't move it back and moving it forward doesn't actually help. So I've got to say that the swing box was developed and tested without canopies. Um, not complaining that the manufacturers got it wrong. I'm just saying it's obviously intended to go underneath tonos. So um, that's a little bit of a niggle for me and something that I'm going to address um, probably by uh, adjusting how the uh, hinge mechanism works on this box and I'll show you a video of that soon um, but also in order to be able to open it in this position because I do very often crawl in the back here and sit there and have a, a drink or a sandwich so final thoughts I think it's a great thing um, it is brilliant for stopping things moving around in the back of your vehicle it does take up a lot less space than big plastic box or plastic bag of um, bits and pieces. It looks neat. It's reasonably secure. Uh, it looks quite professional. It has got a few flaws if you've got a canopy and a bed liner, but I'm still pleased I've got it. Uh, UK price was about 150 pounds and they do come available for right or left wheel arch and you can fit both and they will both open. Um, I measured it all up <laughs> just in case. So um, yeah, undercover swing box, pretty good. Um, if you've enjoyed this, give us a quick thumbs up. If you've got comments, if you've got experience of these, uh, if you've got any ideas about how to get it to open properly with a canopy on, then I would love to hear about it because otherwise I've got to invent it and I will. Um, please subscribe. And we'll see you again on To The Garage really soon.